Hello guys. Welcome back to Geology Concepts. In this video, we will look into the basics of uh, sedimentology. It is more of an overview. Okay going through the basic stuffs of sedimentology. So let's get into it. First we have the formation of these clastic sediments takes place in five different ways, five different steps rather. First is weathering, it starts with weathering always. Then there is erosion, then transportation then deposition and then lithification. So these fives are the essential steps of lithification uh, or of uh, sedimentation. Lithification is also called diagenesis. After this we get a sedimentary rock. Okay. Now sedimentary rocks are classified on the basis of grain size. So there is boulder, cobble, pebble, then there is sand, silt and clay. So all these three, first three are called gravel if they are in loose conditions and they are called conglomerate if they are well rounded and they are called breccias if they are angular. So conglomerate and breccia are the consolidated form of these rocks okay? and loosely they are called gravels. Okay? It's easy to remember in terms of uh, the power of 2. Okay, this is 256, 2 to the power 8. But in terms of power of 2, it is easy to remember. It starts from boulder is greater than 2 to the power 8. Clay is less than 1 upon 2 to the power 8. Then you have silt and cobble, 2 to the power 6, 2 to, 2 to the power 8. Size, then pebble, 2 to the power 6, 2, 2 to the power 1. Sand is 2 to the power 1, 2, 3, 1 upon 2 to the power 4, and 1 upon 2 to the power 2, 1 upon 2 to the power 8 is siltstone. Okay. So these are the basics of uh, grain size, and on this basis we classify the rocks. Okay. Moving on, we have texture of clastic sedimentary rocks. Okay. Now texture includes sorting. What is sorting? The degree of uniformity in sand grains. If all the grains are of same size okay, within a rock, it is said to be well sorted. Okay, uniformity in the grains is either all are small, either all are big size. So that's what is degree of uniformity. Hmm. So if they are same sizes, it is well sorted. If they are irregular, like there is a big boulder present with all small rocks out uh, small size around it and small size uh, sediments around it, then it is poorly sorted all right next is rounding rounding means the edge edges how smooth are the edges if it is very smooth and well rounded that means the sediment or the grain has spent more time in transportation and due to abrasion it has become well rounded okay so more rounded the grain is the more time it has spent in the transportation or the sedimentary cycle and maturity now deriving from these two uh, is the maturity of a sediment that means the length of the time it has been in the sedimentary cycle. So more mature is the grain which has spent more time in the sedimentary, sedimentary cycle. All right. And the sedimentary cycle we, um, we know that we discussed in the first slide that uh, from weathering to transportation, weathering, erosion, transportation, all right, deposition to lithification. Now, in case of uh, maturity, it can be easily remembered in with, with this small table. Before that, mineralogical maturity depends on this fact, uh, quartz, feldspar and rock fragments. More quartz means more mature rock, more mature or uh, more maturity than feldspar, than rock fragments. Okay. 
So here in this table you see the this column is immature, submature, mature to super mature. Okay. So in terms of clay, if there is high amount of clay, very high amount of clay, then it is said to be immature, little or no clay as we go from super mature, sub mature to super mature. Grain not well sorted can lie in the category of immature to sub mature. Grain well sorted lie in the category of mature to super mature. All right. So in terms of r sorting, then in terms of roundness. So grains, if they are not well rounded, they are, they can lie in immature, sub mature, and mature zone. But if grains well rounded, is it to be super mature? All right. So these are the these were the basics of sedimentology, sedimentology rock classification. So in the next lecture, we will go through the classification or the types of classic rock that includes conglomerate, breccias, sandstone classification and mud rocks. Okay. So till then, keep revising and bye for now. Subscribe to know your planet better.